So finally, here we are at zone five. And at this zone, you really cannot maintain uh, your pace for very long. This is very high heart rate. You're hitting your max. You might even be hitting uh, a number that's new for you. So 95, 92%, 95%. Sometimes, even if you hit a new max heart rate, you might go like 101%. And the, the point of training at this level is that you're trying to improve your VO2 max, the way that your body brings in, absorbs, uses and processes oxygen, and then uh, absorbs, processes, and gets rid of your waste material. So lactic acid, CO2, stuff like that. At this level, you can't speak. In fact, you can't even really think. All you can think about is like, you know, getting through this exercise, finishing this interval, reaching the top of the hill. And, and for that reason, it has a lot of value alone. So improving VO2 max is really great for athletes in sport. It's really great for people who are doing like running races, cycling, whatever. Um, it's also great, even if you're just losing to, looking to lose a few pounds, getting into this level will um, make the rest of your exercise a little bit more effective too. You'll be able to go longer, work out a little bit harder, uh, create a little bit more intensity, speed up your gains basically. But I want to talk about the stress reduction value here. One problem in our digital age is that we all ruminate way too much. We live our entire day inside our own heads. We overthink things. There's no like break from ourselves. And zone five exercise has that clarifying effect because you can't think of anything else. It's like just flipping the off switch on your mind, even for a few seconds and you get that little break. And so a lot of us will come out of a zone five workout feeling a, a sense of like relief. We'll have an endorphin rush for sure, but also just that little mental break of being unable to focus on all the other distractions, work, stress, family, stress, that's all gone for a few seconds. And in a lot of cases, that mental reset is enough to get us through the rest of our day with better energy. The last effect that I've always found from zone five exercise is a boost in confidence. Completing something that's very, very hard gives you the sense that you can do hard things in your life. And that transfers from the gym, from your workout into your job, into having hard conversations with the auto mechanic, into doing things that scare you. Like maybe you have some anxiety about going to the dentist, but you know that you can do hard things. And so that helps snowball into doing other hard things in your life. The value of zone five exercise is way more than just what happens in that 30 seconds. It's even way more than what happens um, during your super compensation phase over the next day or two. The real value of doing zone five exercise is uh, abundant in the rest of your life. And so we do want to do this. We want you to do it with a coach. We want you to do it with people around you, supporting you to push you into that zone, to push you out of comfort and into temporary distress and then show you that, yeah, you can do it. So you might last 40 seconds in this zone at a max. That's really, really good. Um, you're producing lactate so quickly that you can't buffer it at the same rate that you're creating it. And so eventually you're just going to have to stop or at least slow down. You won't be able to maintain this pace. Your heart rate might drop into zone four, but for most of us, we have to completely stop and your heart rate drops all the way down to like zone two before you can get going again. There's some interesting aspects to this though. Like number one, you will build mitochondria in your fast twitch fibers. So the, the fibers that you really need for sport to be explosive and maintain or hit your top speed, that's where you're going to be training at this level. But fast twitch fibers require a lot of energy to regenerate and repair themselves. And so even if you're just trying to lose weight, training in zone five sometimes will really help with that because you're creating this caloric deficit for yourself. You're also training yourself to put out maximal power. So that is wattage over time. So if you're trying to move something very heavy over a fairly short distance, this is where you want to be training. For example, carrying heavy groceries up a staircase or, you know, kegs of beer up a staircase or like, you know, moving blocks of wood uh, at camp or, or whatever that is, like large loads, short distances quickly, you want to be training in zone five. 
You also preserve fast twitch muscle fiber. Now, if all you're doing is like zone one, two, three workouts, your body will actually cannibalize fast twitch muscle fiber because it's saying like, oh, you're not that kind of person that needs this. And so when you do have to flip the little car off the child, it just won't be there. And so it's really wise to preserve that fast twitch muscle fiber. So after you're doing zone five workouts, it's really smart to supplement with like, um, a protein powder, like a whey protein and some supplements like caffeine or like uh, creatine will help you get and stay in zone five for a little bit longer too. One key to zone five is it is very hard mentally to get there and it's extremely hard to stay there. And so a lot of the workouts at Catalyst Gym uh, are zone four, zone five, because we know that that's where we can support you best. You can do zone one, zone two on your own. Your coach will give you homework and tell you how long, how far to go. Uh, and sometimes you'll want to do zone two with a friend just so it's not like boring. But zone five is very hard to motivate yourself to get into. I remember talking with one of the original CrossFit athletes, Greg Amundsen, and he was talking about developing some anxiety around always hitting zone five in the gym. And, and there would be days when he would be doing a workout called Fran that was like two minutes all out, and he just wouldn't want to go to the gym. You can really burn yourself out if you're just trying to hit zone five all the time, but you definitely want to hit zone five sometimes. And knowing that your friends will be there to push you and struggle along with you is a tremendous help. Um, even if you're doing this one-on-one -on -one with a coach, just having that coach there to keep you going the extra few seconds are really what makes all the difference because you've only got maybe 40 seconds at a time to get all the value out of this zone. If you can stretch your max time from 20 to 30 seconds, you're going to get way more out of that workout. And you really can't do that without somebody standing outside your head, pushing you to do that. So that's zone five exercise. And we're going to keep these uh, videos going with talks about heart rate variability, how to determine your max heart rate, what kind of heart rate monitoring device you should use, how you should eat for different exercise zones, how you should warm up, how you should prepare, how you can maximize the result that you get from your workouts in each zone. Um, just click like or subscribe below and let us know that these are helping you.